Hi, in this video, I will show you how to filter a SharePoint list by today's date. This is my SharePoint list. The column I am going to use here is created. So I have two records here, which is created today. Okay, here I am using a manual trigger. Next, I'm going to use the SharePoint connector. The action I'm after is get items. Okay. Next, we need to set, a, set the filter query. So to get the date uh, for today's date, we need to use the beginning of the day and the beginning of the time uh, of the day uh, beginning of the time of the day and the end time of the day so the beginning of the time is in hours and minutes it's zero zero and the end time is 23:59. so how do we use that this as an expression here so under the filter query first i need to say here, use the created that's a column name then i'm going to use greater than or equal to Next, two single quotations, then use the format of the expression, which is format date time, using UTC now, and then yyy y dash mm dash dd space zero zero colon zero zero. So that's the beginning time. Okay. Next, I need to use an AND operator. Again, the same column name which is less than or equal to again two single quotations use the next expression again for my date time utc now y y y y dash capital m -M dash dd space 2359 which is the end time that's the hour and the minutes okay that well, next step i'm going to use a compose just to make sure what values i'm going to get and i'm going to get the title column power automate automatically inserts apply to each loop because get items can return more than one items okay let's test this flow now Here it is. Flow ran successfully and I have got two records. Test 1 and test 2. This is test 1 and test 2 which I created earlier today. So the technique we need to use here is under the filter query use the column which is the date time column greater than then the format date time which I use the expression here format date time utc now yyyy mm dash dd space zero zero colon zero zero that's the expression you need to use here again similar syntax again and created less than equal to le and then two single quotations then next expression which is again it's almost same as other expression but only the difference here is the hour and the minutes which is 2359 so this is a technique we need to use to get the records from the SharePoint list against today's date. Thank you for watching.